Hey, Gen Xer, did you forget these uh, readers here? Oh, that's hilarious, millennial. <laughs> the attitude walking around here like you're renting a place. Whatever, boomer. Yeah, I love that 1980s music. You know, when I think of the 1980s, I think of the the old boom box, but I guess that's just a stereotype. <laughs> hey, Peggy, you know what uh, Madonna's favorite sauce is? What? Hollandaise. Celebrate. Hey, you know why uh, Valley Girls are so odd? Valley girls are so odd because they can't even. I don't get it. Nobody, nobody gets it. Nobody gets hey, it. Hey, Mr. Gen Z, Liam. Hey, I think you might like this. Uh, yeah, look at this one here. She's my new stan after uh, my glow up last week. <laughs> That's Cap. You got no drip. What, 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 you ghost, is he ghosting us? Is he ghosting us? Yikes. Big yikes. You are a moron. Mean male. We all get it, right? I get my fair share, a couple of my faves. Dear Dave, you are a moron. And your hair looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Quick one. Gabe, are you one of the Baldwin brothers? Bozo, Baldwin. Ooh, burn. Finally, if I could offer a suggestion, it would be good if you could lose about 10 pounds. He had a good breakfast with my zombie friend this morning. There he is there. His name's Walker. <laughs> He was, he was late to uh, breakfast, though, because he was feeling a little rotten. <laughs> we were listening to some uh, rap music, enjoying a nice bowl of rice creepies. <laughs> but I asked him, I was like, hey, Walker, why are you so late to breakfast, man? You need to get a life. Get a life. Hey guys, uh, you know, I was just trying to buy some airline tickets for me yeah. and my better half mm -hmm. today, and I asked her, I said, you know, you want to sit in the exit aisle or you want the uh, Shakespeare seats? Shakespeare seats? I was like, yeah, of course, you know, to be. To be. You are not gonna believe this. I just left this ice cream shop and Missy Elliott was in there. And she said to me, she said, get your free cone, get your free cone. I thought that was weird and a bit awkward. But... Man, I love that movie, The Lion King. You know, um, you know Simba, Jennifer, you know, Simba just uh, picked up a motorcycle, you know, so he can, Mufasa. <laughs> Finally, that was a funny one. Yeah, Mufasa! Yeah, my daughter, she got real mad at me this morning. I kept singing that song, uh, I'm a believer. And she's like, stop singing that song, it's so annoying. And I thought she was joking. But then I saw her face. Instant Mood Boost Part 2. Your better half is coming home in three minutes. You want to boost that mood? Here's what you do in the kitchen. Quick, grab the comment, give it a shot or two, and a once over. You don't have to scrub the whole thing. You just have to let her see it in the sink. Next, quick, open the dishwasher. Act like it's broken. See, go to the cupboards, grab out a couple of clean plates or a bowl, and put it here and act like you've done the dishes and the dishwasher's broken. You got a minute left. I know you don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's disgusting, but guys, you got to do it. Take out the trash. And when you replace the liner, make sure you leave it open. It's all about visual effect. As soon as she's coming through the door, hit the floor back to the dishwasher. I can't fix a bowl of cereal, much less a dishwasher. Doesn't matter, fake it. She'll appreciate the effort. Ah, 
Is that you, honey? Oh, good. glad you're back. Just working on some stuff here in the kitchen. Can you throw that garbage for me? Thanks. You won't believe what happened yesterday at the grocery store, Andre. So I go into Walmart and I pick up a carton of eggs, mm -hmm. two packages of bacon, and a loaf of bread. Wow. And the cashier says to me, she says, you're single, aren't you? And I was like, yeah, how do you know? She says, because you're ugly. Mozart, sensational performer, composer, died at age 35. But did you know he had chickens and he hated his chickens? Because every morning he would go out to his chickens and he'd say, hey guys, you guys like my music? And his chickens would say, do you know how a banana answers the phone? Yellow. 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 Did you hear that? Someone's shooting off fireworks in mid-July. They gotta be careful. I mean, you're gonna catch my Christmas decorations on fire. Just got out of my doctor's office and the doctor says, Gabe, your DNA is backward. And I was like, and? Oh, got a nice little package here from Becky Ott in Sandusky. Thanks, Becky, very kind of you. A nice little t-shirt. What does it say? Dad joke champ. I couldn't agree more. Thanks, Becky, appreciate that. You know, I like to call a guy who's not a dad who likes to tell dad jokes. I like to call him a faux pas. I'm just kidding. The more dad jokes, the merrier. Keep them coming. Gabe won't be here tomorrow. And against our best judgment, we're giving him the mic to my delight and Tracy's delight. Mm -hmm. He is going to give us his comedy styling. So, Gabe, just uh, take I, it away. I didn't prepare anything, but if you insist, oh. you know. Uh, Plastic surgery, you know, it used to be so taboo to talk about, but nowadays you say Botox and no one raises a brow. Don't you dare tell them to put the mic on me, or the camera on me. <laughs> See this pen right here? This pen can uh, write underwater. It can write mm -hmm. other words too. But... Listen, ladies, I shouldn't be telling any jokes right now. You see what happened last night? I lost my pet mouse, uh, Elvis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was uh, caught in a trap. Yeah, so Natalie, I'm starting a side hustle. I've created this uh, dating app for chickens. Yeah, it's not my full-time job. It's just a way to make hens meet. <laughs> you know, I'm just looking for a little extra scratch, you know? <laughs> a couple of clucks here and there and on the side. You want to punch me right now? Yes, of course I do. He's I up do. on the foul language, jeez. Yeah, I remember it was about last Christmas, me and my better half, we were out shopping and we're in this long line. I was like, I'll, I'll be right back, honey. And then the passed, the time passed five, 10 minutes or so and I didn't come back and she calls me up on the phone and she goes, where are you? We've got more shopping to do. And I said, honey, do you remember you know, five years ago, that place we went and you fell in love with that, that diamond necklace. And, and I told you then I didn't have the money to buy it, but one day I'm gonna get that for you. And she welled up a little bit, tears started running down her face. And she goes, yeah, I remember that place. And I said, I I'm in the bar next to it. Whew. So my uh, yoga instructor just left. I said, you gotta go. And she was like, nah, I'm gonna stay. I was like, oh, you gotta go. She's like, nah, I'm gonna stay. I was like, you better get.